All right, in this video, we're going to solve the logistic differential equation, which is something that you pretty much do once um, and then really not again. Um, so we have dy dx equals k times y times the quantity 1 minus y over l. And uh, in this case, k and l are numbers that we uh, just don't know. Um, so they can't absorb, uh, you know, if we multiply them by 3, it would have to be 3k. It can't just become a new value of k. Um, that's going to be important because we are going to get an arbitrary constant when we do uh, our antiderivatives. So to begin with, I'm going to separate. So I get dy over y times the quantity 1 minus y over l is equal to k times dx. And at this point, the reason this is kind of a uh, Calc 2 topic or a BC topic is I need to do partial fractions on the left-hand side. So right there, I'm going to do partial fractions. So I get a over y plus b over... 1 minus y over l is equal to 1 over y times that quantity. And now I'm going to use the cover-up method to solve for a and b. So if I let uh, y equals 0, I go to the right-hand side, I cover up the uh, 1 over y term, and I'm going to plug in 0 everywhere I see y. So it's 1 over 1 minus 0 over l, so 1 over 1. So I get that a is equal to 1. And then uh, to solve for b, I'm going to let y equal l, because that's what would make that term 0. Um, that factor is zero, rather. And I go over, I cover it up, and I end up with b is equal to 1 over l. And so now I'm going to uh, rewrite the left-hand side using these values. So I get that. Whole thing in parentheses and a dy equals k dx. Okay, so now I'm going to integrate. Um, so the integral of 1 over y is the natural log of the absolute value of y. And then for this second part here, I actually have to do a substitution. Um, so if I let u equal the denominator, 1 minus y over l, then uh, du is going to be negative 1 over l. So I actually need a negative sign. So uh, it's going to be minus the natural log of the absolute value of 1 minus y over l. And then on the right-hand side, you just integrate, get kx plus c. I always put c. So c is an arbitrary constant. I always put that on the side with the independent variable, which in this case is x. And I'm going to use properties of natural logs to combine the left-hand side. And then I'm actually, so I don't really like the way that looks inside the natural log, so I'm going to clean that up. So just get a common denominator in the denominator, and then uh, kind of fix your fractions there. So we have that. Um, let's start over on a new slide here. So this is where we stand at this point. Uh, now I'm going to exponentiate, so I get l times y over l minus y is equal to a new constant, so I've changed color, um, times e to the kx. And I'm going to take the reciprocal of both sides. So l minus y over ly equals 1 over ce to the kx. So this is where the arbitrary constant versus uh, constant that we don't know kind of comes into play. So on the left-hand side, I'm just going to break that up into two fractions. So uh, 1 over y minus 1 over l. And then on this side, so 1 over c, I'm going to turn into a new constant, so a new value of c. And then 1 over e to the kx is going to become e to the negative kx. So I get e to the negative kx. And let's rearrange like this. Uh, now I'm going to get a common denominator on the right-hand side. So 1 over y is equal to. So uh, the common denominator is l. So I have 1 plus uh, c times l. c is an arbitrary constant, so it can absorb the l. So that's just going to become a new constant. I'm actually going to call it a. And then e to the negative kx. And then that's all over l. And then finally, I take reciprocals. So y is equal to l over 1 plus a e to the negative kx. And now what I want to do is I'm going to use the initial condition. So let's suppose the initial condition is y of 0 is equal to y sub 0. And I'm just going to plug in and solve for a. So y sub 0 is l over 1 plus a e to the negative k times 0, but that's just 1. Um, so we can solve this, hopefully. So cross multiplying, and then distributing, and then finally solving for a. All right, so that's my solution. So the solution to the logistic differential equation is um, dy dx equals ky, the quantity 1 minus y over l, with that initial condition, then y is definitely going to be l over 1 plus a e to the negative kx, and a is going to be l minus y0 over y0. So that's where it comes from. 
uh, you, I mean, like I said at the very outset, you pretty much do this once, and then you just memorize the solution and use it all the time. Uh, but it's good to know where it comes from. So I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.